I've never heard that phrase. It's like a little shop. Oh, okay. One combo. One product. One one is straight, one product. One product. One is straight, one product. One is straight. Yes. What is the tea? Okay, that makes sense to me. Yes. Okay. So let's take this a little bit further because I'm interested in this. Okay. Uh, but the other one that you mentioned was government help, that the government can help, that they can step in and make sure that their people are fed. Okay, so give me an example of what this one district, one product idea is. I'm, I'm somebody new. This is part of a conversation. I want to understand this. For example, for Thai suit. Yeah. Yes. We can make shirt houses and handbag also. Okay. Yes. So. And we can export in your country also. Okay. So, one district, one product, and we make we make it well, and we, then we can export it. Yeah. yeah. But we're we're limiting. We're getting back to what we were talking about, about the economy, supply and demand. Yes. So I'm not saying everybody can make shirts and pants and purses. But the government teach them how to do it. Okay. Yes. Government teaches. Teaches. There's a, a phrase that we use in my um, culture. Um, which is basically the same thing. It's give a man a fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. He eats. For a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teach a man how to, to fish. Mm -hmm. He eats for a lifetime. Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. It's an idiom. What does it mean? It's pretty much what you just described. The government subsidizes. The government subsidizes the money for one group and Hire the experienced person, expert person to teach how to do. Yeah. Well, yes. What the idea is is the government doesn't necessarily. They, obviously, they have to for a while. They supply the food for a while, but ultimately, the important thing is they teach them how to grow the food so that they can feed themselves. That's the idea of that. That. How, how to make a lot of in the future. Well, okay. And one of the things that's really interesting here, um, I went up to Chiang Mai the last time I was here, and we saw a number of the people that were doing the weaving up there. It's beautiful work, and it's an art that's becoming lost. But if the government subsidizes so that the young people are, are keeping that skill, it's something that's marketable elsewhere in the world. So it's it, it, it's a, what we refer to as a win-win. Yeah. Win-win. Everybody everybody's better off for having done that. It's a win-win. 
another idiom. Okay? He can help himself to help himself to earn the money to have a lot of money to earn. What it's really saying is if you've got this if you learn the skills that mm -hmm. you need, you can take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So what the obligation is is to teach the skills they need. Teach Rather them. than give somebody something. Finish. Then you're done. If you teach them how to do something, they can take it forward. And teach the next guy. You always wait when someone helps you every week. When someone helps you everyone today. If your food is out of stock today, they wait. Someone to help again and again. Yes instead of learning how to do it themselves. Remember we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. I don't know who of you were here, mm -hmm. but it's basically the same concept, this one. Remember? Pay it forward. Remember that? Remember what that one was all about, those of you that were in the class? I'll give you an ex the example I gave you before. One good American dollar. I'm, I'm paying it to you. Give it back. She just paid it back. I give it to you. Pay it forward. <coughs> You give it to the next guy. <laughs> it's right, it's only a dollar. <laughs> That's the idea. Pay it back, I give you a dollar, you give it back to me. Pay it forward, I give you a dollar, you give it to the next person. Pay it forward. Which is basically the same philosophy as this is, which is if I teach you you can you can use that skill going forward. Another idiom. How do we get that off the table for world peace? Nuclear disarmament. The United States and North Korea are now in negotiations for nuclear disarmament. Stop building nuclear bombs that scare everybody in the area. <laughs> and if, if you do it, then I will. <laughs> nuclear disarmament. Disarmament. Nuclear. What? Okay. Nuclear disarmament. Does everybody know what disarmament means? Yeah. Nuclear bombs. Disarmament means get rid of it. If we say, um, if we say that I am going to arm someone, get. That means I'm giving them weapons. So disarm is taking west taking them away. So if I arm someone, 
I'm giving them weapons. I disarm someone. I'm taking the weapons away. And clearly that is easier said than done. No weapons, no more. No weapons, no more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Problem is you always find a different weapon. If you take away something, you're gonna come up with it. You'll throw stones or you'll fight with your arms, you know, whatever. So it makes world peace tough. Land again, that's, that's something that we've been fighting about forever. It's, it's all about borders. It's one of the things that causes problems with world peace. Um, in your country, you've got, got people that are coming in here from other countries, as do we, uh, as refugees, as... Um, and it, it's a question of do you have the land and the resources to support people that are coming in from across other borders? And why would you come from someplace else into another land? Because you don't have the resources in your own country, you can't get employment, things like that. So the reason you come back, or you, you cross into another country,